Here's our topic, opportunity in a fast-changing world, the case for optimism. Today's turbulent times are a historic opportunity. It's important to realize this. I'm gonna start with some headlines, news stories from this morning, because they really set the stage for what we're gonna talk about for the next little bit. I do get a chance to see an awful lot of companies and leaders up close. And I have seen what they do to win in this environment. And I'm gonna mention three things that I see they do. We all have here four executives from industries that seem to be very, very different. And yet they're all dealing with the same big issues, AI, technology generally, climate, the after effects of the pandemic, what's going on with new trading patterns. Winners confront reality. Winners stop protecting yesterday and they create tomorrow. The truth is pretty much everybody knows what their yesterday business is. And most of them have some idea what tomorrow's like. I say stop protecting yesterday and show Kodak film and everybody knows what I'm talking about. Their yesterday business was chemical photography. It made billions and billions of dollars for them. Every incentive told them to protect the chemical photography business. And they went bankrupt. We have to be open to business models that everything in our experience tells us won't work. Can incumbents disrupt themselves? This happens to be Charles Schwab, where they did it. They were being disrupted by robo-advisors. What they did was take a team of people, bring them physically together, which is important, and gave them the assignment of how to make Charles Schwab irrelevant. The real challenge of AI for most of us is gonna be a challenge of imagination. AI is doubling in power every three to six months. That means that in five years, AI could be a million times more powerful than it is right now. This is coming at us quick. We need to think hard about how we can put it to work. Can we think of ways to do stuff that could never be done before, rather than just using it to improve the stuff we already do? We should not delude ourselves into thinking that very wild sounding ideas for what to do with AI are not gonna be possible. For years I've studied how advancing technology affects us humans and our organizations. I wrote a book about it which predicted today's environment. Don't ask what computers can't do. Ask instead what humans are most driven to do. Empathy being the foundation of all of them. Creative problem solving together. And finally, what makes us valuable, storytelling. Some big trends in the economy. We'll take an overview of that. To start with inflation, that's topic A right now. Economic growth fundamentally is growth of population plus growth of productivity. And unless we can get both of those increasing faster, it's just gonna be hard. Labor supply, that's a real billboard. We haven't had a calendar year of 3% growth since 2005. The case for optimism. This turns out to be really important more than we may think. Tumultuous times are when the leaders change. This is the big opportunity. The pessimists have always been wrong. Optimism has always been the right way to vote. I'm betting on optimism, and I hope you are too. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>